You know the routine, yeah. You know the routine. All right, what's up guys? Manny from 99 and Full Drop here, back with another very, very cool review on a pair of uh, shoes that's super limited. Um, yesterday's video was a really cool one. I hope you guys liked it. Being nothing but positive feedback from that video. Um, but this one, honestly, is gonna be probably my most favorite. Um, here I am with Emmett, Emmett Sneaks. We did a podcast with him, and uh, he was able to hit a pair of Dior ones for retail. And it's crazy because I'm, you're the only person here, like personally that I know, that got them for retail. Yeah. And like, uh, I know there's another person, but I don't really know him personally. And uh, so I, I immediately like reached out to him. I was like, yo, would you be down to do a, a review on them? And you know, kind of tell your story on them. Cause he is a, at a very young age and being able to hit uh, for a shoe that's as limited as the Dior ones are. I, I had to, you know, get him to do a video on them. So uh, go ahead and introduce yourself for the people that don't know who you are. Yo, I'm Emmett Sneaks. Um, yeah, I resell shoes. For sure. Like else, but. Yeah, you're, he's a little camera shy, but you know, it's, it's all good. Um, so I wanted to talk about like, how did you get these for retail? Like, what was your process when you like uh, went to get it for retail? Um, well, first of all, I entered the raffle. A lot of people were saying, oh, since I'm 13, I'm not going to pick them up. So I was like, eh, all right. Yeah. Um, about oh, it, a week had passed after I got the email. No call yet. And a lot of people were saying, hey, if you haven't gotten the call yet, then you probably didn't get them. Yeah. And I'm like, there's no way to just like do that. I just kind of gave up on it. And a couple days after that, I got a call. We scheduled an appointment to pick them up. Made sure I could still pick them up even though I'm only 13. Because you, you had to be 18 to sign up. Yeah. But somehow I was able to still get them. Yeah. Um, what did your parents think of like that leading up moment? Because uh, I know that like as a parent, like if your kid tells you like, hey, I just want a pair of shoes that's like I have to fly out. Like, what did they think? Well, at first they thought it would just be crazy. Like they didn't. I don't think they realized that it'd be this much profit and that it'd actually be worth it to go out. They probably just thought it maybe be a couple hundred dollars, maybe a thousand. Yeah. But once they, I mean, once they looked at market, they realized how much I was paying and how much mm -hmm. I could sell them for. Yeah. They just. I mean, they didn't mind if it was, if the money's there, then it's definitely worth it. For sure. And even yesterday, there were so many, like, hate comments on, like, you know, oh, this kid, there's no way that he got them, they're fake, all this and that. And I know you reached out to me personally, like, trying to sell me, like, a whole bunch of your stuff so that way you could get them for retail. Yeah. What was your process as far as, like, getting your own money to get the shoes? I had, like, I just bought, like, $500 worth of shoes mm -hmm. the day before I got the call. Mm -hmm. So I had, like... I mean, I had money, but I had a lot of inventory yeah. and a couple hundred bucks. Um, so I just did like three story sales that week. Mm -hmm. Sold probably a couple shoes each day. And, um, got enough money to buy them. For sure. But, that's good. And, and that's something that I've always told people a lot of times, because even in the live that we did yesterday, there was so much hate, but people don't know the whole backstory. And even, even then, if they do, like people are going to hate no matter what. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, what was your trip like going over there and all that, especially during COVID? So what we had to do was you can't fly directly into New York from Des Moines since mm -hmm. Des Moines like the highest risk state in, mm -hmm. um, in the Midwest. Yeah. So we had to fly to Philadelphia, stayed overnight there, then drove to New York from Philadelphia. Yeah. Dude, it was, there was so much traffic. Damn. It took, I think, 20 minutes. We were going from the Kith store to the yeah. Dior store to pick them up. It took 20 minutes to drive three miles. Jeez, that's crazy. Like, that's, here yeah. in Des Moines, it'd take, like, like 10 minutes. Yeah, Under right. 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, for sure. So. That's crazy, honestly. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the review of the Air Jordan 1 Dior Low. So stay tuned for that, guys. All right, guys. So we here we have it. Air Jordan 1 Dior uh, Low. This shoe is honestly amazing. Again, shout out to the homie Emmett Sneaks for even allowing me to film this review. Uh, let's start from the back. So right there, if you can see it, Air Dior, the Wings logo in the back. Then we get back to the swoosh right here. Of course, very iconic part. The Dior all over print on there. This leather honestly is very, very hard. Of course, it's handmade. Um, and here is the other side view of it right there there's gonna be the toe box of it 
this material on that that is used is like super super hard and it's crazy because like I expected like something more plush but you know of course it being handmade is just the reason why it's built like that then we get to the tongue of the shoe Dior Air or Air Dior and I'm gonna try and see if the camera kind of picks it up but there's like oh there you go just a little bit it picks it up but there is like that Dior print right all on the tongue right there now getting to the insoles does say Dior right there all across it now getting to the bottom piece of the shoe Air Dior all iced out and I know that um, there was another YouTuber that had a fake pair of these. It was the highs though. And they did get that bottom piece wrong. But this is how it should look like right here. You guys can see that again. Of course, let's get another view of the side of the shoe. This shoe is honestly amazing. Just the details and everything that they uh, put on the shoe. Let's get back right there. You can kind of see it, the camera doesn't pick them up the best, but the detail on the actual shoe. All right, and it also did come with extra insoles on here, which is gonna be these. The camera picks it up, there you go. The Dior logo on there. These are honestly, these remind me, these insoles remind me of the uh, the Air Jordan 2 that, um, what's his name? Ah, I'm having issues uh, remembering what his name is. Just Don, the Just Don 2s with the insoles. This is what kind of reminds me of. It did come with these two little baggies as well. Right there, if the camera can pick that up. There you go. And then in those baggies was this one right here, this little thing right here, if the camera picks that up. There you go. Pick that up really, really well. Of course, I'm trying to be very, very care uh, careful because these do pick up a bunch of fingerprints. There is the other one. I'm trying my best to show it. There you go, little jump man. These are honestly like super, super crazy. Um, another thing I did want to show you guys is I'm gonna be very careful about it. If I can even get it out. Just give me one sec. There you go. There is the inside of the shoe. If it picks up well on the camera. I'll show you guys some more b-roll of it because it's not wanting to pick up exactly um, but this shoe is honestly very very cool very good quality again the stitching of it I just can't get enough of that right there perfectly done handmade Air Jordan 1 Dior this this shoe is honestly really really amazing again shout out to uh, Emmett Sneaks for allowing me to do this review on this very limited, limited shoe. Um, dang, the quality on it, like, it's just, it's just amazing, honestly. This is number, let's see, I'm trying to find the number on here. Number 2,795 out of 8,500. It also did come in with these shoe inserts right here that usually come with the Air Jordan uh, you know, shoes like that, like the Space Jams come with it, special hard ones that come with it. There you go. All right, hope you guys love that review of the Air Jordan 1 Dior 1 Low. Um, I honestly can't believe that, you know, my friend Emmett was able to get them for retail. Again, special shout out to Emmett Sneaks. Go ahead and follow him. I'm gonna leave all his link in the bio. Go give him a follow, he's a super, super cool kid. Um, and I just can't believe that he was able to get them for retail. I'm gonna keep saying it again. Shout out to MS Sneaks, you know, for even allowing me to uh, actually film the video on his pair. Coming here and actually, you know, filming this with me, being a part of the video and all that. I'm sure he's super tired and it's just been an all around crazy experience. But like I said, thank you to everyone that is, you know, continuing to subscribe, continuing to follow and support. 
Thank you for everyone that is, you know, commenting on the videos, even if it's hate. I really don't care. I'm just glad you guys are watching the videos. And uh, stay tuned for more videos just like this and other things like that. So, until uh, next time.